And moving right along, we're almost done here. I accidentally pressed the fucking stop button like a fucking idiot. But uh, we have 1994's Nail Bomb, which has the Cavalera Brothers from Sepultura. And there's a lot of debate on to whether this is a thrash album or an industrial album. And I remember there was a big fight about it online during a show called Lockhorns, which I commented a few times. Um, I had made a comment saying that I found the, the album to be so industrial, I was surprised that Al Jorgensen wasn't on the record. Then we have the 1994 album Low by Testament. Which, uh, I don't even know if MTV had any videos of it. It's one of my favorite testaments, because, uh... I, I enjoy this one, and then their follow-up, Demonic. But I love the song Low. I love the song Dog Face Gods. I'm hoping that they do a remaster of this album. I don't know if they do, if they have yet. But... Unfortunately, the album quality is so low that it definitely needs, a, needs a, a remastered upkeep. Our next one is Black Metal. And this is the 1994 Dark Throne Transylvania Hunger, which is true Norwegian black metal. And... Uh, it's so black metal that, like Gorgoroth, it's recorded like as though it was made in a toilet. But again, true Norwegian black metal. Great album. I guess. And last but not least is my favorite. Very well could be my favorite death metal album of all time. And that is Cannibal Corpse, The Bleeding, which is Chris Barnes' last album. I'm always getting into arguments with people about who the better Cannibal Corpse frontman was. And I go with Chris Barnes all the way. Uh, not only was he the sound, but he was the image. I understand maybe he was a fucking asshole and now Cannibal Corpse has a better time. Hanging out with George Fisher. But Chris Barnes was the cool factor of Cannibal Corpse. He didn't stand on stage looking like he has Down Syndrome. Or he over ate on some fucking hot dogs and shit like that. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy Chris Barnes much more. He was fucking scary, you know. It seemed like when George Fisher joined in, then all the little kids thought Cannibal Corpse was cool, but back in these days, they were scary as fuck, and that is my last album for the 1994, I'm sure that there's some that I have missed, um, if there are a shitload that I have missed, it's probably because I don't own them, uh, otherwise they would have been on here, but anybody can make mistakes. And I'm going to try to combine these videos somehow. I don't, I'm not good at that technology and shit like that. But if anything, it'll be a two-part video, you know. One video being a half hour and the second video being four fucking minutes. Fucking retarded. But anyway, as always, I am Uncle Jay, Selena Dahmer, Trent LeVay. Jason Rathless, I got too many fucking names. Check out Metal Shirt Collectors on Facebook. Check out Vinyl and CD Collectors on Facebook, which this video is going to go on. And subscribe to my videos. I'm not much of a fucking talker, but I got some cool shit to show. So, enjoy. Enjoy.